It's barely 48 hours to the reopening of Nigerian airports for local flights. And discussions about health safety protocols for operators and passengers is taking center stage at this briefing in Abuja by the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19. It will be very, very hard to ensure that you put your mask while you're sitting. If you don't, if you don't, we consider you as an Aruli passenger. An Aruli passenger is not allowed to board our aircraft. Once you are an Aruli passenger, if you start to shout, just shout, yeah, 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 and you're disturbing piece of aircraft, no, the captain will not go, you'll be dropped. President Muhammad Buhari has approved, and this is a very serious matter for us, the hitherto, hitherto, big men, Big men, especially, especially military men, military men, ministers, members of the National Assembly, and the judiciary. And governors, yes, governors. PAs and SAs are returns of people that are not traveling. And they insist they must take them inside and onto the aircraft by protocol. This will not be allowed, will not be permitted, they will be stopped. The Minister of Health gives an update on the current situation in the Federal Medical Center, Lokoja, just as he notes the surge in the number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the month of June. With regard to Kogi State, arrangements are underway to beef up security at Federal Medical Center, Lokoja, for the protection of staff and patients. The federal government will do all it can to attend to the needs of the citizens and restore service full service while we seek ways to engage the state authorities for attending to the needs of the, of the citizens. Taking the statistics of the month of June alone, with 303 deaths on record, it means that just under half of the total fatalities so far recorded occurred in that single month of June. The Minister of State for Education also announces a date for the commencement of the West African Examinations Council, WAEC. I come and announce the dates for WAEC exams. From the 4th of August to the 5th of September. Parents, please take note. Nigeria currently has over 28,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19. Many wonder what the situation will look like in the weeks ahead as the government gradually eases the lockdown to restart the economy even in the face of very weak enforcement of the health safety protocols.